Hi and welcome. This is Dr. Pamela Weber and today I want to discuss understanding age-related macular degeneration. If you have AMD, you are not alone. I see patients all day long with this disease. It's the leading cause of, of blindness in, among patients over the age of 50. The prevalence is huge. In the U.S., probably 11 million people have it and about 1 million have the wet form or neovascular AMD. So who's at risk? Well, it definitely runs in families. So if your mother had it or your grandmother, uh, you probably need to start getting checked at age 50. We see it in clusters in Northern Europeans, and we see it very infrequently in African Americans. All AMD starts out as the dry form, and drusen are characteristic of the AMD. Dry AMD may progress to the wet form, which is neovascular AMD. Uh, dry AMD is considered advanced when we start to see a large number and size of drusen. Vision can occur from dry AMD from thinning, which we call atrophy. And again, we're talking about the back of the eye, the macula, which is a subdivision of the retina. There's lots of ways of imaging it. One is with the aptos, or fundus photography. So again, the macula is a very unique area that gives you your reading and driving vision. So it's very important to preserve it. It also allows us to see color. It's very thin in the center. Many diseases affect the macula, but age-related macular degeneration refers to a disease that we only diagnose in patients over the age of 50. And again, the hallmark of dry AMD is the drusen. Geographic atrophy is a subdivision of dry AMD, and here we see patches of, of missing cells or, or patches where someone cannot see. So, Dry AMD can also progress to wet AMD, and it can occur very quickly. So if you see a sudden loss of vision, um, you need to get, rush right into your uh, retina specialist because we do have treatment for this. And again, what, what do we see when we, when we make the diagnosis of wet AMD? We see hemorrhage um, and sometimes exudation and edema and thickening of the retina. We are involved in um, a phase three study called Opthea. I'm very interested in in providing better services to my patients, better treatments. So we <clears throat> get very involved in clinical research. This is a phase three, and what's very unique about this is it combines um, a, a, an antibody that blocks C, VEGF C and D, um, and is given in addition to our, our anti-VEGF that blocks A and B, such as ILEA and Avastin. And what we're finding with this is that the patients require much less frequent dosing, um, but if you only patients with new disease can go into this study, so you have to be newly diagnosed. But if you are newly diagnosed and you're interested, give us a call. The other study we're doing is, is from iPoint, and this is a phase two study. And what's really great about this is if you have been previously treated for wet AMD and you'd like to go into the study, you can. And what we're finding with this, this is a tyrosinase kinase inhibitor called virolanib, and it appears from our preliminary studies that it, it it makes, uh, it really reduces treatment burden. So many of these patients only need treatment like every eight months. What else is, what, the other thing that's super interesting about macular degeneration right now is that there are two treatments for geogra geographic atrophy for which we have no treatments that are at the FDA right now for review. And if the FDA approves these, we may be able to use them on our patients in the next quarter. Zymuro is one of them and it, and it targets complement cascade C5. It is an intraocular injection given monthly but it does reduce the growth of this, of this loss by 27%. The other drug is APL2. Again, this is for geographic atrophy. It's phase three. Um, it's at the FDA right, FDA right now. Uh, we're awaiting approval. It targets complement cascade C3. It is an injection given monthly into the eye, but it does reduce the progression of this disease process by about 22%. So if you need help with your macular degeneration, love to help you. Give me a call, Dr. Pamela Weber, 631-924-4300. Thank you.